A new year and a new slate of launches with NASA on deck. Meteorologist KJ Jacobs here to highlight the top four space missions coming up for this year, 2023. What's going on, KJ? Well, Carolyn, we got three big launches still to come this year. So, and if you'll do that for me, and the fourth one, the fourth mission is Osiris Rex as it comes back to Earth from space from an asteroid. So Polaris Dawn is the first of the three launches this year. It's a private space flight. Polaris Dawn is a SpaceX Dragon capsule, not with astronauts. This one paying customers. That's right. Yeah, it will be an orbital flight and it will include a spacewalk. No word on the cost, but you can imagine it's likely in the millions. It will launch from Cape Canaveral in March. Also, this one, JUICE, it stands for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, and it's the second biggest launch of the year. It's a European launch in Psyche. It is the third big launch this year, something to look forward to. This is going to be a NASA launch. It will be to an asteroid of the same name. It will launch from the Kennedy Space Center on October 10th. And I talked to our NASA ambassador, Tony Rice, and he's looking forward to JUICE. Here's why. Uh, but they hold so much promise to really reveal a lot of things about how our solar system formed and and also you know, possibly, you know, might have some evidence of uh, past life. Uh, and there's theories that, that say that that may have been where life originally originated on Earth as it came from from one of these moons. We won't know till we go. Mind blowing, right? When you put it all together. So, of course, you can see some of the launches, especially when they launch from Florida. And we all know it's weather dependent. So, some of these launches likely best seen on those clear nights and also around sunrises and sunsets, Carolyn. And of course, your WCNC weather team will always remind you of those upcoming launches when the time nears. Okay, question is would you go? I mean, I know it's costing millions of dollars, but say money is not a factor. Would you go into space? Money's not a factor. I will be curious to know. And you know, I asked Tony the same question and he said, if it's for an educational purpose, say if we can stream back in some form or fashion to a classroom, then maybe it's, it's worth going. I mean, I would go hands down.